Mississippi Diana again, and today I'm doing a response to Denise's Friday contest. I think you have some cute questions, and I wanted to be a part of this. I don't usually have that much to do with the weight loss community, even though I did have gastric bypass surgery in December, and I'm losing weight and feeling better, and uh, I love Amelia. Uh, she's the one that brought me over to YouTube. So uh, I'm going to give these questions a try here. What is my favorite gift I ever got? Well, I met my husband uh, that I love dearly on the internet uh, in 2001. And in 2002, he sent me a ticket to come visit him in Germany. That was the best gift I ever got. Meeting him in the airport for the first time face to face after being friends for over a year, it was intoxicating. It's like we couldn't keep our hands off each other. It was like love, real love at first sight whenever we first met. So that was, that was my favorite gift. What happened that scared me the most? Okay, back whenever I was about 19 years old, uh, I had a roommate. We lived in an apartment uh, that was um, on a lake in North Carolina. And um, my, uh, my roommate, she worked at night. And I had dated this one particular guy uh, several times, and then we stopped seeing each other. The, the relationship had never become physical. We just were, you know, dated, had a good time. And one night, he somehow found out where where I lived down at the lake, and that I was by myself. And he came down there. He had been drinking. Uh, I let him in because I knew him, and um, showed him around the apartment. He had never seen that apartment. And next thing out of the blue, he said. Uh, I never got any when we were going together daily. I, I did everything I could to try to get you know, out of that, get this conversation into another, another way, because you know, I didn't want to go there with that. So uh, next thing I knew, he done grabbed me and pulled me to the bedroom. And from the door, he slung me on the bed, and he was on top of me. The only thing that really saved me was the fact that the room was very small, and it had a king-size bed in it. You could barely walk around the room, around the bed. I remember rolling him over off of me, off of the bed, and down into a little corner where it took him a second to get up and get out. By that time, I was out of the apartment, ran down to the end, banging on doors as I went. Finally, someone let me in. We called the police. That was the most terrifying um, experience of my life because, you know, he was drunk, and I don't know what would have happened, but I got out of that. My favorite food before surgery well, Chinese food has always been my favorite. I love Chinese. I love it all. Egg rolls and fried rice and all the stuff that's really bad for you whenever you, you know, you're on a diet, much less with gastric bypass, you know, it makes you sick. I have been lucky enough that I can eat a little of certain things if I know it's not fried. It's oriented. Uh, my favorite food now. That changes usually daily because um, you might eat something today that tastes really good and eat the same thing tomorrow and it gag you. Um, that's just the way it is. You know, I like fat-free refried beans. They taste pretty good with a little bit of uh, salsa on them, warmed up. That's pretty good. But the thing that settles my stomach when I'm feeling sick is sugar-free fudge sickle pops. They're delicious. And I usually have one a day. It's my treat for every day. 
it's sugar free, low in fat, and it settles my stomach. So I guess you'd say that's my favorite food. Okay. The strangest place I've ever had sex. Now, a lot of them have been strange, but I, I guess I would say my kitchen. Uh, I delve uh, just a little bit in magic. And I was doing a love potion for someone one evening. And my husband was watching the ritual of the love potion. And it got him excited. So he came into the circle and made love right in the middle of the kitchen floor, in the middle of everything that was there to do the potion. I grant you that was a very strong love potion. What was the age I lost my virginity? Did I ever have a virginity? Well, 17 would be the year I was in love with this boy. Thought he would be the one and only. We never married. I think of him a lot, but he was my first. Who is my favorite YouTube person? I guess that would be uh, Amelia. I, I like so many people, and so many people's names come to mind. But Amelia, she's the one that that uh, kind of brought me over here by posting a link on the Daily Strength website. And I came over and fell in love with her channel, fell in love with YouTube itself. And um, I just love everything about her. She is She's just so spontaneous, so so giving, she gives us so much information, and I love just watching her channel. So I guess it would be another. Who is uh, my least favorite person on YouTube? And I guess we're talking about the weight loss community, so I'll say myself, because I don't post that much about weight loss, and what I do post is not that, that good. Um, I find it boring. So I'd say myself. And um, I guess that's all these questions. And um, thank you, Denise, for letting me enter your contest. And everybody have a good day. Bye-bye.